So as you all may know, Call of Duty Mobile is officially out in Global's release. And I can show to you guys that I am in the American store, not the Australian or Canada store. The only thing I can prove to you guys is that I bought Black Ops Zombies, so you won't see the price of the game. But you can see the microtransactions right here. And as you can see, these are from the American currencies, not the Australian or Canada uh, currencies. So that means I'm in the American uh, store, so that means I can get Call of Duty Mobile from there. Also, I have no VPN. And if I go into Call of Duty Mobile, it doesn't say any messages saying um, you need a connection to play the game or something like that. So that means this is the real deal. This is the global's release of Call of Duty Mobile. Um, we're going to play a match in multiplayer. We're going to play Domination and we're going to pick random. Uh, I'm not going to use Crossfire because Crossfire is... Basically, why my warm up for this map, and then I go on to the rank match and uh, play some matches from there. But um, uh, we're just gonna start ahead and you know try a different map that I haven't uploaded on my videos yet. So we're gonna pick random. Uh, actually, we're gonna change the graphic quali quality and the frame rate. So basically, last time. Uh, my graphic quality was medium and the frame rate was I believe is not really good so with the new update uh, they gave me the option uh, to change the settings from medium to high graphics and also it gives me a higher frame rate so you guys will have a perfect experience on my content so we're just gonna wait and uh, talk about more stuff in Call of Duty Mobile all right, so we find a match. Wait, is this frozen? No, don't tell me this is frozen. No way, are you kidding me? Come on, dude. This is serious, dude. Okay, looks like, oh, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, so the only difference that I can see here is that the ping is finally low. Um, and you know this is good so that means I'll have no experience of bad connections, no lag, uh, no higher ping so that's really good. The gameplay feels very very fluid and clean uh, ever since I used the VPN back in the beta version it feels pretty choppy and you know not too fluid but with the global's release and the lower ping it actually feels really nice. The only thing that disappoints me however that there is no zombies mode on the global's release just yet. Uh, it still says coming soon and it's grayed out so you guys can't click on it and play. Um, hopefully the next update it, it, there's going to be zombies mode um, and it's hopefully it's worth the wait because we've been waiting for zombies mode for a long time now ever since they closed out zombies mode after the India beta. But um, you know I haven't played zombies for a while now after I quit playing um, Xbox 360. Um, I think I just put it on the attic somewhere, but um, uh, hopefully I can have the same experience as a console version and you know I'm looking forward to play as zombies. So uh, again, hopefully it's uh, worth the wait and we'll see what happens. What? Why why it didn't kill him? Dude, that's weird. okay. Maybe it's a bug. But we're going to get a revenge on this guy. That's cool. And then we're going to send in the stealth chopper. Right over here to protect B. Alright. Awesome. Alright, we're going to call in the nuclear now. Because uh, we have a score of 80. So here we go. Alright. Am I gonna still okay, never mind. We have to wait a little bit longer. Alright, we got our nuclear. Let's finish those off. Alright. 
we won the match. Let's take a look at the final kill cam. Just like a cancel reload, that's pretty cool. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna play a match in Battle Royale, so we're gonna invite some people. So, let's wait. Oh wow, this is the fastest joining session I've ever seen. All right, so let's uh, play a match. All right guys, so we're gonna drop in Pipeline and I got this new parachute, so that's pretty cool. This one comes with the um, Battle Royale ranking system, so you get this award when you're one level up from the very beginning. So if you guys are recently playing Call of Duty Mobile and if you want to get this parachute, then go ahead and jump in Battle Royale. So at any rate, uh, we're going to get some loot and kill some people. Oh, there's a person. I just found the patch notes that the PDW got nerfed, but uh, I feel like it's still overpowered. But I love the PDW back in Black Ops 2. It was a pretty fun gun. All right, nothing special here except the adrenaline shot. Oh, there's a person. There you go. All right, getting the chip upgrade. Here we go. I'm also going to make another Call of Duty. Oh, God. Where did he come from? Dude, he just came out of nowhere. All right. So as I was saying, I'm going to do another Call of Duty Mobile content on my channel, which I do the graphics comparison between the beta version and the current version, which is what you're seeing here right now. Um, it's a bit different, but, you know, you guys won't tell the difference between them. But, you know, we've gone a long way from doing the alpha version to the final version. So... Uh, you guys will see the difference anyways, and I'm looking forward to make uh, some edits and stuff, so yeah. And my gun went weird. I don't know why. But anyways, um, stay tuned for that one, and after that, I'm going to do another Fortnite video. Um, probably during the beginning of Season 11. I don't know what's going to happen for... Fortnite after season 10 so um, I'll let you guys know what happens and in the meantime we're just gonna enjoy the release of Call of Duty Mobile that's what everybody would wanted to see uh, for mobile gamers so I'm pretty sure console gamers are excited for it too um, if you guys know Merc Music uh, he excited to play Call of Duty Mobile on the phones and he's planning to make a video for it so I can't wait to see it um, I'm just gonna change the sensitivity real quick uh, because it feels a little bit slow. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's th it's this part right here, the firing sensitivity. Uh, what a tongue twister. I don't know why uh, Tencent made separate sensitivity settings. Um, I know this is mobile; you can customize as many as you want, but you know, at least they can make it simple, just like in the console version where it's only the option of. Um, the horizontal sensitivity and the vertical sensitivity you know what I mean so I wish they can do that but you know they just made it in 100% full details about sensitivity so that's just funny I should say oh he's trying to sneak around huh alright we're gonna zip line up it's cool that they have the motion blur but some people don't seem to like it Oh, nice. Oh, I think I see someone over here. Alright, we're just going to rush and kill this guy to conclude the match with the PDW, so let's do it. Oh, I can hear him. Oh, he's over there. Oh. Here we go. We won, guys. First place. Let's go. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for Call of Duty Mobile, and if you guys are playing this game right now, by the way, tell me in the comments below what you think about this game and what could be improved, 
and we're almost there to 360 subs so let's keep this up and set up this new milestone and after 360 subs I hope we can get 400 subs um, and yeah so anyways that is it again if you guys like to see more Call of Duty games or any other content on my channel please leave a like comment share and subscribe this has been Red Gaming and have a good one